The middleweight championship of the world is on the line next and about scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Sirkan Oskoglian and Donovan Visa. And he's done it! Donovan Visa, the dream chaser, has his dream come true. He is the middleweight champion of the world. Heavyweight. He says, I lost the weight, but I didn't lose the power. Oh, he's rocked. Rock. He got clipped big time. Doesn't know what hit him, but we do. It's Sirkan Azkagayan. I want the title. Give me the title shot. Sirkan, stop talking. Take the fight, and we'll see each other in the ring. Let's meet the challenger. All four of his glory wins have come by knockout, including a 58-second KO in his debut. His record, 45 wins with seven losses, 36 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, three inches tall, 1.91 meters, he weighed in at 172.1 pounds and even 85 kilos, fighting out of Turkey and ranked the number one contender in the division. Here is... Serkan Oskoglian! Here now is his opponent fighting from the white corner. He claimed the belt of Glory 81 in Dusseldorf last August and arrives on a seven-fight winning streak. His professional record impressive. 18 wins, just one loss. Ten of those wins coming by way of knockout. Standing six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters, he weighed in at 171.5 pounds, 84.7 kilos. Fighting out of Suriname, he is the reigning and defending middleweight champion of the world. He is Donovan, the dream chaser. Your referee in charge of this championship belt is Edward Stryker. Hey guys. Hey guys, listen, five rounds of three minutes. Glory rule, glory rules. Protect yourself at all times and lift all the way to my command. There is no standing eight count. Touch gloves if you want. Back to your corner. Boy, this feels like a big fight. The crowd really into it. Sirkan getting the majority of the cheers. Visa getting all the boos. For the middleweight championship of the world. A packed house Push. in Rotterdam, and here we go. Sirkan in the black, Visa in the white. I think a big moment is to see if right. Sirkan can control himself okay. with the crowd yes. cheering and his aggressive style. Fight! Visa's nickname is the Dream Chaser. His dream's already come true. He's the champ. It's Oz Kaglian who's chasing the dream tonight. What do you make of Visa saying that Oz Kaglian's just too one-dimensional? Well, I think he's aggressive, but Serkan's learning to deal and how to handle his aggressive style. So already now, even the fact that he's fainting, pawing with his jab, this is all development from Serkan. Defending and moving, looking to counter, and then blast out combinations like that. I think he's evolving each time we see him. Quick hands from Visa. What is it that makes Visa just so good? Well, one, he's very defensively sound, and then when he does attack, it's great with level changes, upstairs, downstairs, small, subtle angles. Good head movement. He's just complete when it comes to defense and offense. But how do you beat that technical style? The wildness of Sirkin. I like when you ask yourself questions. It saves me the, the hassle. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking ahead. 
Boy, a lot, a lot of punches landing so far for Bisa. Yeah, I do like that patient style, but those counters of Visa come quick and fast. Nice knee from Serkin. And this is what he likes to do. Pin his opponent against the ropes and unload. Yep, Serkin has a nice knee that he hides behind his punches. I like Serkin kicking the body. He's got tall, long legs that he should be whipping kicks. Yeah, good combination return from Visa. Oh, that hit the knee. That could have been really bad. Well, blocked by Serkan, though he's doing the right thing to shut down those inside low kicks by turning his knee inwards. Yep. has just been a little too slick in this round. Yeah, he's staying patient, he's waiting, but you see his head movement, he slips well and counters. Oh, good overhand right. And he's not putting a lot behind it either. No, he's just pawing right now. He knows he has five rounds. Get Serkan to waste a lot of his explosive energy. And then the plan is to probably pick it up. Break! Good opening round for the champ. Yep, very technical. Staying sharp and smooth. Donovan Visa, the dream chaser, has some wins over some pretty big names. Jason Willness, Yuri DeSousa, and of course, Jay Overmere. Turkey, Serkan, Oscar but Big Mike giving instructions. Training with Big Mike, gave him a lot of good energy, a lot of confidence. His dream is to, to win a world title with Mike in his corner. He saw his cousin Gokan Saki be coached by Mike, and now here he is, getting the sponge. Waiting for Oscar Glein to sit down and give us one of those five, six, seven punch combinations. Yeah, sometimes explosive fighters, when you're testing five rounds, Ooh, nice you kind of right hold back Visa. a little bit, but... Oh, Visa caught him again! Yeah, when Serkan opens up, he's to punch, that's when Visa just counters so precisely. Visa's hands barely leaving his head ever. And if his hands are down, he moves his head. It's so very difficult to hit. Much more accurate is the champ. 70% to 32%. Yeah, no wasted energy. He doesn't throw to just throw. See the calculated head movement, looking for that opportunity to counter. You read the quote from Oscar Bryan, if I land one big shot, you're going to sleep. I like that dig to the body from the southpaw from Serkan. Get to the liver side from the open stance. Visa doing a good job of cutting Oscar Glein off right as he's about to throw a strike. Yeah, the biggest mistake Visa could do is try to go punch for punch. He's either got to stay defensive and counter, but the big mistake would be to try to open up too much. That's why he's using more of a counter defend and attack style. become a big strike, not only kickboxing, but in MMA in general. Yeah, and I'm telling you, it, that was just a touch of the calf. It wasn't even a hard crack. Are you teaching your fighters, instead of throwing to the, to the thighs, to throw to the calves? Well, hopefully future opponents aren't listening, but yes. <laughs> big, I honestly feel the calf is the new, new leg kick. He'll slowly start making his way to kickboxing more. 
Oscar Glein still trying to figure this guy out. Yeah, Visa now investing into the body with front kicks and rear straights, ground kicks. Oh, look at the fast hands of Visa. Yeah, they're quick. And they're set up beautifully with those kicks. Throws a kick, throws a kick, and mixes in those speed hands. Boy, the crowd's giving it all they got for Oscar Glein. So far, he hasn't risen to the occasion. Yeah, those little switch, little calf kicks from Visa, you can see Serkan not liking them, having a switch stance for moments. Yeah, and Visa just keeps setting it up off of that right hand, right hand to that switch lead calf. It's there all day for him. Right. You can watch Glory events 24 hours a day, seven days a week on Glory's new fast channels. Visit glorykickboxing.com for more information. A worried look on Gokhan's face. Yeah, he's got to start yelling, try to get his cousin to wake up a little bit more. That's Big Mike's specialty, waking you up in the in between rounds. Big Mike busy these last three fights. So far, this has been basically a master class from Visa. Just how to slow your opponent down, pick him apart, take his wind away, and just shrink him. It's just how fast his hands move. It's incredible. Every round, every judge has scored the first two rounds for Visa. But I do like that scissor knee from Serkan. He's got to do something a little bit more unorthodox. Light cut on the left eye of Serkan. Yeah, Visa back to that right hand to the switch calf kick. And Joe, if you're, you know this better than me, if your legs are banged up and your calves are killing you, it's hard to sit down and throw those power punches. Yeah, but that's the one of the ways you have to stop them is by, as soon as he thinks Visa's gonna throw that switch calf kick, Serkan's gotta drop his left hand. That's the moment where Visa squared up. So he's gotta try to time that right there with that left straight, a little bit better there. Yeah, one punch at a time is not going to do it for the Turkish fighter. He's got to load up. There you go. Yeah, put things in combination. But at that point, too, Visa's so technical defensively that you're wasting energy throwing punches off his guard. So it's a very tough situation. Serkan's in. Yeah, he hasn't had that big moment yet, has he? Nope, it's just... Sir, Serkan's gonna have to just sit on something, though. I mean, if he wants to survive or win, those are two different things. He's got to find an opportunity to open up, save energy, and go. To just sit there and keep eating shots like that is not gonna help him. Total strikes landed by a round. Not even close. Look at, but look at that strike selection from Visa. He goes from rear straights to the body, Switch calf kicks, right body kicks, front kicks, left and right head kicks. Just so technical and talented. And he's only 26 years old, so we're gonna see him develop. Well, Visa told us only his left hand scares me. The rest of him, not bothered at all. I think Visa's gonna be the champ one day. We might see him move up in weight, challenge himself. He's just been so dominant. Like even these punches now from Oscar Glyan, just nothing on him. Yeah. Those knees dangerous though. Oh, there you go. Better from Serkan trying to fight backwards. Well, Visa can fight like this all night. <laughs> all night long. <laughs> and that may have hurt Oscar Glyan. Let's see if Visa steps up the pace here. I think a good challenge for Visa would be, one, he wants to stay defensive, but if he can get a finish here, this will just catapult him. You know, we, right. I know a lot of people don't like to talk about pound-for-pound pound style fighters, but, man, Visa's on the top, one of the top ones for me.
Hello to our glory girls holding our Unibet round signs. Now you can see there, Visa just mixing things up, using his head kicks over punches. Look at that timing. Over that rear hand of Serkan, able to go outside. He goes from a right head kick to left calf kicks to then mix it up a left head kick, just constantly switching up his attack so Serkan never knows where he's gonna land. Two knockouts in his eight glory wins. Let's see if Visa goes for the gusto here. There's not much coming back at him. Yeah, there's the, the most dangerous moments I see from Serkan is when he whips that left hook or those knees, but doesn't seem to be phasing the champ. Just calm, cool, relaxed. Like even when Serkan throws head kicks, I mean, Visa's guards up before it even leaves the ground. Only one glory defeat for Serkan Askeglian. That was Cesar Almeida back in October of 2022. He's about to get his second one unless he can come up with some sort of game plan to change the direction of this fight. We're in the championship rounds now. Definitely a master class performance by Donovan Visa. Here's a knee. Yep, still dangerous because Donovan has that high guard. Crowd trying to urge their fighter on. They want this Turkish man to go crazy. Throw those hands. Let it fly. At one point, he's going to have to if he wants it. Find one good blast of energy to go. Yeah, every one of these punches at Land for Visa takes a little bit more out of Oscar Glenn. Yeah, body, body. Now he's getting slick with the left hook to the liver. Pretty sure he hurt Serkan slightly by touching it. But Visa goes back to that rear straight to the body. If you're in Visa's corner, do you say, look, man, We've got a wounded animal in front of us. Let's put him out of his misery. Or do you say, just keep doing what you're doing. If it comes, it comes. I would say what he's doing now, just stay technical, keep picking him apart. I would probably say mix your kicks a little bit more just to stay out of range and just to stay, keep the fight a little longer. But Jonathan Visa, his best fighting happens in this close range, so maybe he feels safer here. I just don't think Oscar Glyan has enough left in the tank to get a knockout, do you? No, I don't think so. Like even when Visa slows down and gives time for Serkan to throw something, well, here's throwing it now. Yeah, Serkan's best, as I mentioned, right from when hearing this fight announced, that Serkan's first two rounds are his best bet at getting a finish. As the fight goes on, this is the type of Donovan Visa. Technical, sharp, and can keep this pace for five rounds, no problem. Visa's having fun. Ooh. Break! All right, three minutes to go. I think a lot of people expected Visa to win this fight, but not this easily. Yeah, no, I, I didn't expect it either, especially seeing how dominant Serkan has been. But to me, it just keeps confirming what I already believe, that he's one of the best fighters we have on the roster. He's one of the most technical to watch and growing into a, a star. Looks like a beaten fighter. Yeah, he's definitely defeated. I mean, sure, he's learning a lot how to pace himself to handle it. But I still think Donovan Visa is still learning a lot here. I mean, he's still 26 years old, but to get good five-round pace in, to stay tight defensively, barely get hit, 
I think the champ's getting a lot out of this fight, too. A southpaw with power punches to come out unhit. It's definitely a big success for the champ on top of defending. Well, the crowd has done their part supporting Oscar Glyon. Only landed six strikes in round four. Yeah, but this is where Sarkhan has to go now. Maybe open up with a little bit, try a, a 10 second moment. Find a barrage and go. Good defense there for Oscar Bryan. Yeah, Beast has been hunting for those head kicks. And he sets them up well, though. He's using those front kicks, little body, trying to get the guard down of Oscar Bryan so he could sneak that head kick up. Straight right from Bisa, everything scoring for him. There's another one, too. Let's see if he pushes the pedal down. That's power through the guard. Those big Visa legs to knock you out even if your hands are up. Yeah, Oscar Glyne just kind of paw pawing with those punches. Yeah, he can't sit. I think his calf's done too. Yep. Now he's completely switched, staying neutral. This is where the champ can get the knockout now. Yeah, the crowd ooing and aahing with every punch from Visa, who looks as fresh as a daisy in there. Oh, and a big right hand connects from Visa. Yeah, as soon as I see something from Visa, in my head, I'm like, oh, he should go back to the calf to set up his punches. He just does it. That's good, intelligent ring IQ. A lot of fighters would have just blasted off the guard and wasted energy, but the champ took a second, chopped the leg, then went back to his hands, and that's why he found more success. Now he's able to pressure and continue to find every opening he looks for. And with that damaged leg, there's no foundation for the Turkish fighter to sit down on and put some power on these punches. Now even Oscar Lyon wondering what stance he should be in. Ooh. Oh, good right from Visa. And then the way he rolled under that shot, too. And he's laughing now. I think Serkan was even impressed by that. The right cross rolls out of it beautifully. Ten seconds left. Can Oscar Glein throw some punches to close the show? He's just laughing from all those hey. head movement. Unbelievable. Man, that was a dominating performance from the champ, Donovan Visa, who continues to improve every single fight. Oh, fantastic. I have nothing but great things to say about Donovan Visa, and I think he's going to be a champ for a while. I know other fighters are excited to get their hands on him, but anybody who gets near that man is going to have to really, really step up. Well, you heard Michael Boapea calling for a title shot earlier. Is he the guy that can at least give him a tough challenge? Well, I mean, Boapea is still young. He's aggressive and a lot of confidence, but I mean, I don't think there's many fighting to get a chance at Donovan. So yeah, I mean, if, if Boapea seems confident, he's putting wins together, but ultimately it would be nice to see Boapea develop, but hey, he's confident. He wants it, I'm down. So let's take a look at the highlights from this master class performance from Donovan Visa, who will improve to 19 and 1. I mean, all of these highlights are going to be Donovan Visa, just sharp, technical, good defense, good countering. Serkan Oskaglein had better chances early on in the fight when he had a lot of good energy, but Donovan was never phased, continued to high guard pressure, good countering, the speed of his combinations, and his ability to get his high kicks up so fast. We saw him use good investment to the body, found the outside calf, rear straights to the body. Anything he found just landed beautifully. As we keep saying, the master class. He was able to hit, roll out of shots. Just look at that sharp movement in the eyes, and this is the fifth round. He's gonna have to give us a TED talk after that performance. I'm sure those of you in America know what that is. But Donovan Beast, a fantastic tonight. He said it would be easy work. We didn't believe him. We should have. Look at the total strikes landed. 238 for Visa, 72.
for Oscar Glein. Strikes thrown per minute, per round. The first round was close, well, dead even, in fact. But after that, all visa. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this championship bout goes the distance. So we go to the judges' scorecard. All five of our ringside judges see the bout and score the bout the same. 50-45 for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, middleweight champion of the world, Donovan Visa. Glory's vice president and co-founder, Scott Rudman. Helping to present the belt along with our head of talent operations, Robbie Timmers. And still middleweight champion of the world, Donovan Visa. You've had a lot of great fights in your career. How does it feel to defend your title here? I told you guys you're going to see the old Donovan. You got the old Donovan today. Styles makes fights. That skills pays the bills, you know? I was prepared for Serkan. He, motiv he motivated me a lot. And today, you got the best Donovan. He wanted the best Donovan, he got the best Donovan. I mean, all we kept saying is that was a masterful performance. He barely hit you, you were sharp picking your shots. How do you rate your performance? Uh, I, I grade my performance a 10 plus, you know? He didn't caught me with the sleeping pills. I know he would have caught me with the sleeping pills. He only got the left hand, and you can't fight me with just the left hand. Well, I know you're the champ sitting at the top, but does anyone interest you to, to challenge you for this title? Boapaya won today. I heard him scream he won the belt. Well, come and get it, because you ain't gonna get it, boy. All right, any last words for your fans and followers watching around the world? Thank you, thank you for the support. I'm, happy, I'm your champion, you know, and I'll give you great fights, and that's it, man, thank you. And I wanna say something to my Serena Miss people. Hey, thank you for coming today. Alright, and still middleweight champion of the world, Donovan Visa. He said if Boa Peo wants it, he can get it too. I'm not sure if anybody truly wants to step in the ring with Donovan Visa, who looked nearly untouchable tonight in a dominating title defense.